Welcome to this exciting tutorial. Today, we're diving into a super powerful keying technique called additive keying. No matter how good your keying is, you'll always lose some fine details, especially in areas like hair. But don't worry, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to bring those details back. Before we get into keying, we need to denoise our footage. Even if you can't see it due to YouTube compression, there's definitely noise, and that makes it harder to get a clean key. DaVinci Resolve has a built-in denoiser, but I highly recommend Neat Video, an external plugin. It's paid, but if you're serious about VFX, it's worth considering. I'll go ahead and click Auto Profile, and it gives me a quality of 61%. Not perfect, but good enough for this example. This should take care of most of the noise in our footage. Next, I'll use the Delta Keyer to key out my footage. I'll select an area close to my hair, but not too far away. If we check the alpha channel, you'll see it's a bit grayish. Under matte, we can increase the threshold, but we need to be careful. Pushing it too far will make us lose those fine hair details. The Delta Keyer also removes some green spill automatically. It's subtle, but it's happening. However, I prefer handling despill manually for better control. Instead of letting the Delta Keyer handle the despill, I'll use a channel Boolean node to combine the color from the plate with the alpha from the Delta Keyer. Set the operation to copy, set RGB to BG. If your inputs are flipped like mine, press Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows to swap them. Now that the Delta Keyer isn't handling dispill, you'll notice the green spill is more visible. We'll take care of that next. Now, let's merge our keyed footage with the background. If it looks a bit off, that's because it's not pre-multiplied. To fix this, we'll add an Alpha Multiply node, and that should clean things up. Now, let's address the green spill properly. Add a matte control node. Under the Spill tab, set the spill color to green. Increase the spill suppression. Change the spill method to Well Done. This removes the spill and blends everything nicely. We've got some hair details, but we can do better. You can tweak the Delta Keyer all you want, but it will only get you so far. That's where additive keying comes in. Let's set up some space to work with. Here's our denoised plate, and our background. First, we add a clean plate node. Sample the background color so we're only left with the green. Don't push it too far or the effect won't work properly. Now that we have a clean plate, we'll add a channel Boolean node. Set the operation to divide. Rename the node so it's easier to follow along. This effect blows out the values, so we need to clamp them. To do that, Add a Brightness Contrast node and enable White under Clip. This ensures the values don't go over 1. If you skip this step, you might run into issues later. Next, we add a Color Correction node and bring the Saturation to 0. Sometimes, the Clean Plate node introduces small artifacts, but we can fix that with a Blur node. Keep the Blur low. We don't want to overdo it. Now let's bring everything together. Add another Channel Boolean node. This time, we multiply our setup with the background. This blends our footage with the background using some smart calculations. Finally, let's merge this with our background. If we compare the before and after, you'll see this setup preserves way more hair details. However, this effect isn't uniform. You might need to adjust different areas separately. I hope this helps you bring back those fine hair details in your compositions. If you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to subscribe for more VFX content. Also, check out my website to see what I've been working on and feel free to get in touch. Thanks so much for watching and happy compositing.